Hello everybody. In today's video we're going to look at the Conway Buckle. I'm Simon and welcome to Oakside Saddlery. So the Conway Buckle. It's a lovely simple design. Got a slight curve to it. This is the side that you'll have pressing against your waist or whatever if it's making a belt. Um, simple pin in the middle, bit of a curve to it. Doesn't have a lot on show when it's all buckled up. It looks really nice. It's a nice sort of quite fancy dress buckle if you want to have it as that type. The belt that I've made, it's nice and simple as well. It's just a single strap, just goes all the way through, all the way around. And it has holes punched at either end. So each end's finished, holes punched at either end. Now, if you look at the holes, you can actually see that there are some differences of how they're done. So this one here, this is going to be my outside. So this is the bit you'll see. So the holes are punched from this side, so from the grain side of it. And this side here is the standing end. And the standing end has got the holes punched from the flesh side. And the reason being is, when we put this on, it's going to press through like that. And as it presses through there, you see, so it's easier because the hole's slightly wider because most punches are, are cone shaped, aren't they? So they're a bit wider as they go further in. So it just makes it easier to press that first one on. So to set it up then, we're going to start on our standing end. So this is the standing end. This is going to be the piece what would normally have perhaps a buckle attached to it here and it sticks out the side. So that's our first one. What we're going to do, we're going to hold it out nice and simple. We're going to pass it through from behind first of all. Go past where you want and then back down through the other side. So you can see it actually just does that. We're then going to pick the hole that we want it on. And I'm going to go for this one here, which is the middle hole. And that would now be the side that if this was my belly sitting out there, what would rest against. And the other side goes around your trousers. The other side is going to feed up from underneath there. So between the leather and that buckle, you're going to take it up and through. Pull it to where you want it tight and push it down through the other side as well. So it's gone both pieces over it and what you would then do is pull it to where you think right that's where I want it and then you just push one of them holes onto that pin and it sits like that so you can see it's a really nice sort of flush design it's quite a nice buckle to use now I've got ideas at the moment I use this on a belt but I am contemplating whether I could make a guitar strap with it so for instance this end would be fixed onto a wider strap and the other end would go down and have a hole punched in it ready for a uh, what do you call it a locking thingy whatever they're called someone remind me in the comments uh, or a buttonhole of some sorts in there I remember that one and then you could have your adjustment you can move it up and down these are really nice as well in the fact that when you want to adjust it they they're quite simple to adjust because all you have to do is just push one end or the other and then just line it to where you want pick another hole and it puts it in there and it's not quite nice and simple and the other design I thought of is not just a guitar strap, but maybe a rifle sling and that make it to the adjustment. I might have to put a loop on that though to keep this under control if it's going to be a free end. But I'll have a look. I'll have a play when I go. Fancy having a go at one of them. Just send me a message and I'll uh, I'll see what I can do. I always need to make one in the first place so I to see if it works. Prototype could be on its way out to somebody. You never know. So let's have a think then. Over time, I've put on some weight. I know, I know, people don't put on weight. Oh, do when they get older. And now, instead of it being on the middle hole, which is where I ideally want it, the idea would be that you'd have it on that middle hole, sitting there, and now I've got the centre hole, and one, two, three holes this side, and one, two, three holes that side. That would be my ideal, wouldn't it? But over time, so we've put on a bit, and now I've got myself around, that I'm now on the last but one hole and that doesn't look as nice on a belt does it It doesn't look so good with all them holes one side and a little short end the ideal thing with this conway buckles then what you can do undo it and on the end here because you think oh i put on a bit of weight i can adjust this and push it down to the perhaps the last hole so now when i come to put it back on again i'm going to feed underneath over the top feed into there and instead of jamming it on that first to last hole, it's gonna work its way back through an extra two holes and it fits back in the middle hole as well. So it's it's actually a really good idea, a really nice design. You get a lot of adjustment from these. And of course you don't see any of this once it's on. It's all tucked in nicely behind you, isn't it? So Conway buckle. Conway buckle, nice buckle, easy to do, especially if you don't want to do any stitching and you just want to see what it looks like. So any questions? Uh, I'll do a little video on the 
making some holes and we'll have a look at making one of them in there at some point in the future but any questions leave them in the comments below enjoy the video give it the thumbs up if you want some more leather work videos and consider hitting that subscribe button otherwise have a good day and goodbye